Hello, my name's Tom Morris, otherwise known as James Hill, and I play Meg in Time Ladies. Well, I had just come out of the RADA, and I got offered a part in EastEnders. Um, but <laughs> I didn't want to play Hev's son, her long-lost son, George. No. Can you imagine what that would be like? Oh my god, I was, I was sick of the thought of just imagining me as a, a character that came out of the womb of that heifer. Oh, so uh, anyway, I told my agent I'm not going to go up to Elstree and do that. So he said, how about a nice little drama series in the north? And I said, Coronation Street? He said, no. I said, Emmerdale? He said, no. I said, fucking our friends in the fucking north? He said, no. Time, ladies. Well, I'd never heard of it. But uh, my good friend Lou Grade uh, once told me, uh, Shy bands get napped, and um, always do something that you're offered money for. Always. Yes. He was very generous, Luke Grade. Anyway, I digress. Um, yes, <laughs> it, it was a couple of years ago, actually that I first met Paul Miller. Uh, he plays Margot. Uh, we were in the back of a taxi cab going somewhere towards Newcastle. <laughs> Have you ever been to Newcastle? Oh, it's lovely. It's full of, full of, uh, of poor people. Oh, bless them. Anyway, we rolled up in this Rolls Royce chauffeur limousine and there's Paul. And anyway, we, we hit it off straight away. And anyway, oh, oh, it was brilliant. We have, we have, we have a similar sense of humour. It's very funny. I'm, I'm sure you'll get it. Anyway, um, <laughs> I finished my phone call to Vicky Wood, Victoria Wood. Um, and I said, Victoria, Vicky, love, I'll call you back later. I'm having lunch with Paul Miller. She didn't know who he was. So I had to explain that he was uh, directing and starring in this new, this new thing, Time Ladies. And she said, oh, as in Time Lord. And I said, yes, Vicky, that's right. Time Lady, as in Time Lord. She said, so what about the BBC? I, I didn't think the BBC would allow this. And I said, no. No, actually, you're right. The BBC haven't allowed it. It's just him. Paul Miller. But let me tell you this. Russell T. Davis. He's got an out on Paul. Nothing. Anyway. Um, my name's Meg. And uh, you called me in the dis... No, I'll start again, Paul. My name's Tom Morris, otherwise known as Meg in Time Ladies. Yes, thank you all for your fan mail. Well, you caught me here in my disappear, as they say. I'm in my pyjamas, and I've got a beard, and I've got my glasses on. But don't let that stop you. I'm a good fellow, really. If you hear anybody scratching, it's my lodger. Madeline McCann. Anyway, he wanted a question answer, answering Paul. Was the character of Meg defined for you, or is it totally self-researched? Well, uh, I would say the character of Meg is totally, totally my own creation. I mean, Paul writes the words when he can be asked. The rest of the time it's purely improvised, darling. Did I tell you I won an award for my improvisation at the RADA? No. I won an award for my improvisation at the RADA. Hmm. So, uh, yes, uh, he writes it down, I say it, I bring life to it. Never before has an actor breathed such life into a creation. Julie Walters, oh, <laughs> there's one. 
<laughs> me and Julie, we write to each other all the time. And she says, Tom, darling, Bobby, what are you up to nowadays? And I wrote back to her and I said, Julie, darling, I'm in the time, ladies. It's a marvellous little online, daily recurring, continuing drama serial from Paul Miller. And she says, darling, darling, don't do it. Your agent should tell you otherwise. And I said, Julie, darling, really, I'm not doing it for me. I'm not doing it for the money. I'm doing it for the fans. But anyway, I digress. The character of Meg is all me. Everything that's that you see on the screen is all me, darlings. Nothing to do with Paul Miller. But um, later in the series, when you see Meg in her attire, her Gallifrey in attire, I'm sure you'll like that. That's a little treat for you, fans. <laughs> Look out for Meg in her Gallifrey in attire. Yes. <sighs> Is this like any format you've worked with before? Well, I I'd never done anyth anything like Time Ladies before. It was all pretty new to me. But mind you, I had worked on Crossroads, so that was very hit and miss. Uh, Howard's Way as well. That was like Crossroads, but with money and boats. Jan Howard, she's lovely. Uh, Jan Harvey. Oh, I saw her the other day in Wait Rose. Oh, that was brilliant. We had a good time remembering Howard's Way. Yes, we both hated Kate O'Mara. Anyway, I digress. Um, usually, you'll find me at the National or the RSC playing some uh, juvenile lead. Spear carrying juvenile lead. Um... So yes, of course, when I was offered the lead in a daily continuing online drama serial such as Time Ladies, I had to jump at the chance. There wasn't any two ways about it. Anyway, darlings, it's time for me to disappear. And hopefully you'll see me like that shortly, once I get rid of the glasses and the beard. And in the meantime, if any of you are around Guildford, you may like to pop in at the Ivan Arno Theatre and see me in my next production, Under Milkwood by Dylan Thomas. Here's a little preview. To begin at the beginning. I love you, darlings. Goodbye. I look rough as fuck, don't I? Yeah, I know. <laughs>